What's up everyone, Fritz here again with another episode of Sneakerhead Ambition and today I have another bot tutorial for you. I'm uh, very excited about this one as this bot has had a lot of recent success and that bot would be Trickle. I have mentioned this before but I was lucky enough to get a monthly group buy from AK Chefs, woot woot, uh, and I was able to have some success with it during that first month that I was running it. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it did take me a couple drops to really get it down because I had never run a bot that was CLI mode. So I didn't have quite as much success as I probably should have had during that first month, but it did take me a drop or two to really get how the bot worked, to kind of download it, to get my proxy set up right, to get all the harvesters in. But again, love the bot and really hope I can use it again. Starting off, Trickle is a relatively new bot that works on Walmart, Yeezy Supply, Hibbit, and Shopify. I am mostly gonna talk about Yeezy Supply today. That is more in my wheelhouse and that is what I have used the bot for. So if you're looking for retail botting, I'm not necessarily the guy. I have used it, you know I mean? I've hit retail before, I've hit PS5s, but today, like I said, I'm just gonna cover what I really know, and that's gonna be Yeezy Supply. If you are unfamiliar with what CLI mode is, is basically it's taking away the interface that a lot of bots have. So if you've used any bots before, you know you open it up, there's a nice profile page, there's a nice proxy page, settings, and it's all really easy to see in front of you, and it just makes it a little easier to input your information. Now. That slows down the bot, so with CLI mode, it takes away the interface, and it still obviously has all those categories, but today we're gonna to cover how you input that data, because it's not just gonna be on that nice UI when you open up the bot, it's gonna take a little more effort, and it's a little different. So we will cover that today, but that's just something to note on Trickle at the start. It is a CLI-based bot, and that's how it needs to be run. Another great feature on Trickle, which some bots are really starting to use more frequently, is the fact that you have two instances. So if you don't know what that means, basically you have two copies of the bot that you can run on separate on a separate computer, on a server, whatever the case may be. So that obviously allows you to crank up the tasks because you can be running two copies for say Yeezy Supply, or you could have it where you've got Yeezy Supply on a server and maybe Shopify set up on your computer. So it allows you some more flexibility so that you can run for two separate sites. Or like I said, you can just really crank up the tasks on Yeezy Supply, or if you're gonna use it for Walmart, this video will still apply. But again, that is a great feature. And again, it just allows you more flexibility during drops to run for what you want or crank up the tasks. As of the making of this video, it's early October, 2021. And as of right now, Trickle cannot be rented. Like I said, I didn't rent it. I got a monthly group buy from AK Chefs, but that is something to keep in mind that this is not a bot that you can just go on a rental server and rent. As far as the price, right now it's sitting anywhere between four and 5K if you were gonna purchase the bot outright. I know that CLI mode can seem a little daunting and seem like maybe you, this isn't for you, but I don't wanna scare people off just based on CLI mode. It really isn't all that complicated. It is just definitely different than what you're used to with most bots. So I would say that if you're using it for the first time, you definitely are gonna need like 30 to 60 minutes to set it up. As you get more familiar with it and have done it a couple times, it really doesn't take but a couple minutes. But that is something to keep in mind that this is a very different type of bot. Um, I find that pretty much every bot that I've used that you know, has a UI in it is very similar. Right, they obviously have their own features, their own unique traits, but they're all very similar. And this would be one of the times when it really was different for me and it took me a little while to set up. So like I said, just keep that in mind when, rent, or when getting this bot, if you're gonna purchase it or if you get a group buy, it is gonna take you a little more time than usual to set up initially. Anyways, that's all I've got for you now at the start. Um, just a quick overview I just ran through and now I'll get into the footage of me actually setting up the bot. And this is what you would want to follow when setting up the bot on your own computer or server. All right, so today um, we are going to be discussing Trickle, which is a great new bot that is based on CLI mode. So this is definitely a little different than what you are typically used to with just downloading a bot and having a nice and pleasant UI to look at and it's just nicely organized. So how we would go about doing this, right? You obviously need the download link and the key from their Discord. So, you know, obviously you need that, but you would start off here, right? And you're just gonna go to download, omelette du fromage. You're gonna download the link. Oh, my bad. Here we go. Download the link. Bam, and enter. All right. So now I've got my trickle folder down here. I'm going to click open, and here we are. All right, so when I open this, right, I've got my trickle copy here. I'm gonna go to extract all. 
All right, you want to extract all, don't worry about it. And here we go. All right, so from here, you are going to click on trickle. All right, it's going to, we trust the team, so we're good with that. And we are going to have this pop up here. Now, this is going to take a few seconds and it's going to just fill in, right? Now, if this was the first time you've ever logged in, you're going to need to put your key. All right, I already had my key here, but it would literally just say, what's your, uh, what's your key? You'd hit, you, you know, I mean, you copy and paste it from the trickle dashboard. It'd pop up right here. You'd hit enter. This is then going to all pop up. All right. We will talk about these in a second. All right. They are different, um, different areas to fill in just like you would have in a bot, right? So a bot would have the task area, the proxy area, the account area, profiles, webhook, all that good stuff. But for now, you're just going to go to here, right? You're just going to hit nine to exit and you hit enter and then enter again. Okay. Now we've got all of our trickle stuff here, right? So we've got all of these files that we are going to fill in in a second, just like you would fill them in on a regular bot, right? So we got your accounts, all of this, right? So you're just going to have that right there. All right. And you need to make sure you know where this is. I like to sometimes just pull it here because it's easier to get access to. Okay. So that's all we've got to start off. All right. Now we are going to get in to how to better or how to set up the bot. All right. So the first way that we're going to do this, right, is that we need to start entering our profiles and our tasks, right? All right. So next we're going to start working on how to import profiles, um, tasks and all of that for Yeezy Supply. That's what I'm going to be covering today because I feel that that is the, the best site that this runs for. Um, if you are a retail botter, you know, I, I'm probably not the best person to take advice from. I have hit, I believe I've hit like 16 PS5s, but it's not my bread and butter. So I'm not going to touch on that too much. But um, the next thing you would do that you're going to need for this is you're going to need to go to Google and just go to download Ron's editor. All right. From here, I'm just going in here, download, uh, download, install, uh, open when done. Bam. I accept. Love you, Ron. All right, we have installed. So we are now going to use that in a second. All right, that is that is the file or um, this is again, you can shut this down after you've got it. But this again is where you're going to be entering all of your uh, task information, right? So I'd click out of there. All right, next, I'm going to need to get my profiles from something like AYCD. Very easy to do on there. Obviously, if you have used that, I will be making a video on solely that, but you'd go to AYCD. I'm gonna go get my profiles and I'll be back in a second. All right, and we're back. So I got my trickle CSV here. All right, so this is from AYCD. You could have Kylan. Um, I don't know if Kodai Essentials is still a thing, but this is where you're going to open with Ron's editor, right? So you need to have downloaded this. You cannot do it on WordPad or Notepad. You need to do this on Ron's editor, all right? So this is how this is gonna work. We're gonna open this here and bam. So these are not real, right? I mean, you can try them, do, do your thing, but these are not real tasks, okay? This, I only uploaded two profiles. You could have a thousand in here whatever the case may be. But this is where, right, you're going to put in all the information, right? So for keyword, right, this is going to be whatever the skew is, right? We'll put random. And then you're going to go over some more and you're going to put in your task quantity, right? So this is going to be one for me, right? Reach I delay, they say to put it 5,000, 5,000. For site, you are gonna put Yeezy. For mode, you are gonna put one or two, 
Uh, they give you in the, within the Discord a good idea of what your ratio should be between one and two, but let's say that I just put one. And then for capture key right now, I'm putting none because I personally have been using, um, you know, I've been using the InBot solver. So they might be adding that in the future, but for now, I load them up InBot and I'm good to go. All right, now, you are going to save this, right? After you have filled all of this out, right? If I'm, I'm obviously not having thousands, but you would need to do this for everyone. So, you know, you would copy and paste this. Paste, right? Copy. And you would do this down the line. You can obviously fill these, um, you know, all the way down. You don't have to do this one by one. Easy. Yeah, I'll just do this one. Oop. One and none. So now that I'm done this, right, I'm going to save as and I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to go to this and I'm going to save it as profiles. I do want to replace this. You need to replace this every time you are creating new tasks. So I'd go to there. I've replaced it. And now if I exit here, if I go to my trickle shortcut and I open my profiles, bam, right there. Okay, so that's all you've got to do for task setup. And now we will get into how to set up your proxies, uh, harvester, harvesters, and all of that. All right, now we're back to here. All right, so for proxies, right, all you're going to do is go in here and paste your list. They do recommend doing this at one to one, but this is obviously dependent on drop and how the bot is, you know, progressed and developed. But for right now, and obviously these aren't real proxies, but you would put them in whatever your list is and save. All right. So now whenever I come to proxies, I've got my proxies. All right. Next, your harvester proxies. So however many harvesters you plan on running, you're going to need to put in here. So I typically run five harvesters because I'm attempting, you know, I, mean, I try to push the task count to what it can. It's a very uh, low uh, resource intensive bot. So, you know, try to run a good amount of tasks, but you would do the same thing here. So let's say that I got the same thing, you know, save that. And when you save that, those are the proxies it's going to use for the harvesters. And proxies is where you are going to um, input your proxies that the tasks will actually use. Don't touch resi. Um, not sure why that's there, but don't touch that. Um, and then from there, I will go over how to input your harvesters and start up the bot. All right, now we are going to talk about how you go about setting your webhook and setting your harvesters. So more about the harvesters, the webhook is obviously nice, but what you're going to do for this, right? So you've got everything saved here. You're going to go into trickle. It's going to pop up. You're going to get this auto filled in. All right, fills that out, bam, bam, bam. Okay, so now what you would do is it says three configure harvester count, right? So I would go three, enter, and I've got it at five, right? So I'd hit five, enter, set to five, all right? So whatever you put it to, enter your desired harvester count. If you put three there and hit enter, it would set it as three. All right, next, what you're gonna do, if you want to set your webhook, you're gonna type eight, enter, and it's gonna say enter your webhook URL, all right? I will block this out but let me get mine real quick migrations web hooked with my trickle web hooked. there we go copy All right i am going to paste that right there i'm going to block that out hit enter and it is set now i can hit after i've done that after it's set i can hit nine terminating and exit okay so now you've got the number of harvesters that you want in You've got your harvester proxies ready. You've got your proxies ready. All right, you've got your tasks loaded up. So you've got everything that you would have done on a normal bot done. It's just the fact that here you have it broken down into these separate um, text documents and this and the Ron's editor. So from there, you should be good to go. And next I will go over about what's gonna happen when the bot starts and how to get everything rolling. All right, now we are gonna go over how to log into your Gmail harvesters and start the actual bot.
So you are going to do all of that from within Trickle. So what you would do at this point is you would come here, you would click on the bot, and it's going to fill everything in here like usual, and it's going to file down. So waiting for that, bam, bam, bam. Okay, now, obviously this will look different depending on what your setup is, but from here, you're going to need to start the bot to log into your harvester. So as of right now, the making of this video, you would start the bot five to 10 minutes early and you're going to have to log into those. So something to keep in mind is I would maybe just practice this once or twice, because if you are starting both instances and have other bots, it can get a little hectic. This is a little different. So, and it's, you know, if you've run it before, it will keep you logged in um, as long as you have not switched up the harvester count and all of that. So from here, right, I'm going to look down here at the commands and I'm going to go to start task, right? So when I hit one, I'm going to hit enter and it's going to start now in a second. Once I do that, the harvester windows are going to pop up and it's going to start rolling. All right. Now I'm not going to log in obviously, but what you would do is I'd hit enter, right? Starting tasks, initializing five harvesters and one should pop up here in a second. Bam. All right. And that's when I would start to sign in. After I log into this, the second would pop up. After I logged into the second, the third would pop up. After I logged into the third, the fourth, the fourth, the fifth. After that, it'll start rolling. If for any reason the bot stops, you can hit enter and it should start rolling again. So if I did log in, you're just going to see text just scrolling through here but this is kind of where this video ends. So again, this is where you would log into those Gmails. And after that, the bot's going to start rolling. So that's, like I said, kind of where we are. Um, hopefully this was helpful. I know this can be a little confusing, but after you've done it once or twice, um, it can, it definitely gets a lot easier. Like I, would, I said, I would definitely set this up early. This definitely took me a couple drops to get the hang of it and just be familiar with the bot. So good luck. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and you know, hopefully you cook it up with trickle this month I know there's some good Yeezy supply drops coming up. So I'm doing this video and I will also be doing a Toru video later this uh, In the upcoming weeks because I know people are getting ready for those red October foams. So Good luck. Uh, check back later this week and I should have another video up uh, tutorial and other than that, I will see you all next time